In Java, where you need to define variable types, you can't use a single method to do the same thing with multiple parameters. You can't make a method take in a string, or a char, or an int. You have to uh, make it take in one or another. But you can create multiple methods all with the same name that each take in different data types so that you can call one method the same way every time and it will just um, use the corresponding method with the parameters that it has. So for example, let's say I wanted to create a toast method. Uh, public void toast and I'm going to take in a string as the parameter and I'm going to print the string uh, in the toast. So toast.make text get application context and then here's where you put the string s um, and then uh, show it so that is um, a toast method it will uh, create a toast um, and it will print the parameter in the toast so if I created a string in my main method um, and then I wanted to display that string to a toast instead of typing out uh, this every time I could just um, write toast uh, string s and it will uh, print a toast uh, with that string um, in it. But let's say I created a char and I wanted to uh, say char a equals that um, and I wanted to um, print uh, toast that char but I actually can't because um, in here I define the uh, parameter as a string. so. Um, I can't do that, but if I wanted to create, um, actually just copy and paste this again, um, where I change this uh, to a char, the parameter to a char, and then I wanted to uh, print C, it'll work now. So I'm not getting a compile error right now, but your app will actually break if you ran this code, because the toast needs to take in a string, it needs to print it as a string, so you can use, um, but this is a char right here, but you can use string dot value of uh, C and then uh, your app will be fine right now. So let's say you wanted to print an int. So uh, int i equals 5. Uh, let's say you wanted to print that. Um, you couldn't just do toast uh, with the parameter i. You could uh, just give it double quotes or do string dot value of i uh, to print it and it would actually uh, run through this method. But if you wanted to, um, you could just create a new method. Um, that did it specifically uh, with the int parameter type. So public void toast int i toast.make text get. Uh, you could also do main dot this um, as your thing. I think you could just do um, this and it'll work. It'll look uh, slightly different as a toast. But, anyways, um, and then i plus quote quote uh, to parse it to a string and uh, if you give it the parameter zero, um, instead of toast.length underscore short, it will uh, it'll still do the same thing. Um, so this will uh, this will work for an integer, and all you have to do is um, get rid of those double quotes, and then you can uh, print an integer and a toast uh, without doing the double quotes in here. You just do it once over here. Um, so now our toast method will work for. Um, all, all data types, not exactly, like if you had a double, um, then it wouldn't work, but you could create a double um, for the same thing, uh, just like this. The system.out.print method is really nice because it prints any data type no matter what it's given. Um, so if you look here, it's giving me an error because I haven't given it a parameter, but it says add argument to match print boolean, print char, print uh, char array, all that type of stuff. Um, so if I gave it the string, it would work. If I gave it the char, it would work. If I gave it the int, it would work. And if I gave it the double, it would work. But let's say you wanted to create a print method because you didn't want to type in system.out.print all the time. You just wanted to type in print. Um, you would have to give it a parameter and it would only work for that parameter type even though system.out.print works for every uh, data type. Um, your method will only work for one because you have to uh, give it a specific parameter. But if you created multiple with the same name and just different um, parameters for each of them, it will work for any data type just like system.out.print. So public static void print string s. Um, let's do that. Uh, let's do that for an int i and char c uh, 
system dot out dot print for each of them and in this one your parameter is s and this one your parameter is i and in this one your parameter is C. So it will work for all of them now. So if I wanted to, um, uh, let's say I wanted to system.out.println.s, uh, and I did that like this, I, C. If I actually ran it, I would get hello 5a because hello is the string, five is the int, and uh, a is the char. But let's say I used my method it would also print out the same thing. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do it with return methods. Um, just to be clear, I did create a print method that took in uh, double D just so I can print a double. Um, so let's say you created a method public static int get num uh, int i return i times 5. So when you call get num and you give it a number, it's going to return that number times 5. Um, but let's say I wanted to uh, do that where it could also take in a double. I would just copy that method, uh, same name, uh, but this time take in a double D, um, return D times five. And there's an error here because um, when you take in a double, this method is supposed to return an int, uh, and you're returning a double times five, which is a double. So you're actually returning a double, which uh, you're not allowed to do. So there are two things you can do. One, you can cast it to an int. Um, And that way, let's say you print uh, get num and you give it i, um, it will print 25, um, 5 times 5. And if you gave it the double, it will print 40 because it will take in the double and it'll do uh, 8 times 5 or 8.0 times 5, cast it to an int, it'll give you 40, not 40.0. But let's say you change the return type to double. Um, it would print 40.0 because even though you're casting it to an int, you're returning it as a double, so it'll give you 40.0. Um, but if you took away the cast, because um, you don't need it, because you're returning a double anyways, um, it's going to give you 40.0. So if you pass it a double, it'll print it as a double in this case, because you didn't cast it. Um, but if you print it as an, uh, if you give it an int, it'll print it as an int without uh, a decimal place at the end.